Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Could Baby Dinosaurs Live in the Arctic? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Current Biology, published on August 23, 2021. Research conducted by Patrick S. Druckenmiller and others from the University of Alaska Museum. See the full list of authors in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Scientists never thought that dinosaurs lived in the Arctic and the Antarctic, but they were wrong. In the 1960s, we started discovering dinosaur remains in these harsh environments. Scientists wondered whether dinosaurs lived there year-round. Could they have survived the freezing dark winter? If they did, then dinosaurs must have laid eggs and babies must have been hatched there. So, we went digging for evidence of dinosaur reproduction in the Arctic. We went to northern Alaska to study rocks in the Prince Creek Formation. We searched through the sediment looking for tiny dinosaur bones and teeth. We found evidence of very young dinosaurs in the Arctic and even baby bones and teeth from the time before they hatched. And not one dinosaur species, but seven. Both large and small species of dinosaurs live there all year. These dinosaurs must have been well adapted to life there. It is possible they hibernated or fasted to survive the harsh winter. Introduction The sun rises and sets every day, right? Not always. In the Arctic and Antarctic, the winter months can go by without the sun rising at all. This makes it a harsh place for humans and other animals to live. Temperatures can be extremely cold. It often gets down to negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the Alaskan Arctic these days. And there are very few plants around for herbivores to eat because they are covered in snow. We used to think that dinosaurs couldn't have lived in the Arctic or Antarctic. How could they find food or survive the freezing temperatures? But in the 1960s, we started discovering dinosaur remains in polar regions. Scientists then had a lot of questions. We wanted to find out whether dinosaurs stayed in the Arctic all year or whether they migrated. We thought that small dinosaur species might have stayed there year round. Maybe some even hibernated in burrows during the long winter. We thought that large dinosaur species either fasted during the winter or migrated south to find food. But could they really have survived months of continuous darkness? And did they reproduce there? If they did, then we should be able to find evidence of this, so we went digging for answers. Methods We went to a place in northern Alaska to dig in the rocks of the Prince Creek Formation. It's a famous place for finding fossils. Dinosaurs lived there roughly 70 million years ago. Back then, it was dark for around 120 days each winter. Figure 1 shows the North American continent 72 million years ago. The Prince Creek Formation is located near present-day Alaska. In the map inset, the location of the Prince Creek Formation is represented by a star. We were searching for evidence of young dinosaurs in particular. We collected sediment samples and washed them with water. We then sieved them through a very fine mesh, a bit like draining rice or pasta. We looked very carefully at every grain of sediment using a microscope. This meant we could discover even the smallest dinosaur bones and teeth. Next, we examined the dinosaur remains to work out which species they came from. We also worked out how old the dinosaurs were. Were they from young dinosaurs, either still in the egg or just hatched, or from small species of dinosaurs? We also collected rock samples and looked for clues about what the environment was like there millions of years ago. We could then use this to find out what life was really like for dinosaurs living in the Arctic. Results. We discovered lots of tiny dinosaur bones and teeth. We found remains from dinosaurs which we think died while still in the egg. They must have nested in the Arctic. Very small teeth from both small and large dinosaur species. These teeth came from very young dinosaurs. This means they hatched there. 
Our findings are the first evidence of dinosaur reproduction in the Arctic. We now think that at least seven dinosaur species living in the Arctic 70 million years ago also had their babies there. Figure 2 shows some of the dinosaur bones and teeth that we discovered from both adult and very young dinosaurs. You can see seven sets of teeth in the figure. For each set, the one on the left is an immature tooth and the one on the right is an adult tooth. You can see the scale towards the bottom right. The specific dinosaurs that each tooth came from can be seen in silhouette in the middle of the figure and in the upper right. The teeth are located closest to the dinosaur they came from. A human figure is included for comparison along with the scale to show the sizes of these dinosaurs. Why do you think we used a very fine mesh to search for dinosaur remains? Discussion. We found lots of remains of very young, baby, dinosaurs in the Arctic. We didn't think we'd find so many. We now know that the Prince Creek Formation in Alaska is an important place to find evidence for dinosaur reproduction. It seems like dinosaurs didn't just live in the Arctic during the summer. They stayed there all year and survived the harsh winter. These dinosaurs must have been well adapted to survive the freezing temperatures, lack of sunlight, and shortage of food. Small dinosaurs may have hibernated in burrows during the winter. Now we have evidence that the large dinosaurs reproduced here too. This means that they probably didn't migrate south. This is because the baby dinosaurs wouldn't have had enough time to grow big enough to manage such a long migration before the cold winter months. Some baby dinosaurs stayed in their eggs for up to six months before they hatched. There can't have been enough food for large dinosaurs to eat as normal over the winter. We believe that they fasted or ate much less during these cold and dark months. But we now have a lot more research to do to find out how dinosaurs survived the Arctic winters. For example, we believe the meat eaters had feathers to keep them warm. But did the plant eaters also have feathers? And what other survival secrets did they have? Conclusion we can learn a lot from the past. Knowing how different species adapted to live in their environment can help us to better understand the species that live on Earth today, and even how they might adapt to future environments. Find out what animals live in your neighborhood and near your school. How do they survive the winter? Most people think about hibernation, but there are other ways animals survive the coldest months of the year. Go on some walks outdoors and look for animals, their tracks, and clues of what they have been eating. See if you can discover any fossils when you're out and about. What can you discover about the past? Read about different animal adaptations. You could start with SJK's article on how dragonflies are adapting to a warmer earth. Or you can visit your local animal sanctuary to discover more about the animals in your area. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.